following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit VoiceAmerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you're having a great week, that as we're deep in this fall season that you've been enjoying that transition from summer to fall and and into the holidays. I always think it's a great opportunity to reflect and really look at what's going on in our lives and perhaps release some things that are no longer serving us and consider taking on some new approaches or attitudes or stretching a little bit more in a way that does serve us. Today, we're going to be talking about pain and how to really take steps to alleviate pain. And this isn't just physical pain. It's emotional. It can be in our body. And it can also be mental pain. So we're going to be looking at all of the different aspects of pain um, with the intent of how discovering a way and steps that we can take to alleviate that. And then we're also going to be talking about forming powerful connections. Because I find Connection is really, really important in everything that we do, especially as we're looking at stepping into the holidays, we can start to feel disconnected. And so we're going to be talking about forming powerful connections throughout kind of internally connecting everything, but also how can we connect more powerfully with others and show that we're safe and really show more of ourselves both business, in our business, and personally. So it's going to be a great, great show today. I have two wonderful guests I'd love to take a moment to introduce you to. I have Lori Ratto. Lori, I welcome you to the show. Thank you, Rebecca. It's great to be here. And then we have Deanne Hayes as well joining us today. Deanne, welcome. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Such a pleasure. Now, you guys are in for a real treat, listeners. We have um, both Deanne and Lori are heart-centered, really uh, professionals that really like to look at the whole picture. They don't just bring you a quick Band-Aid type of solution. They really look at how you are wired, what you're trying to achieve in life, and really help you build systems and build ways of being in your life so that you can really thrive. So I'm really honored to have both of you on the show. Oh, and I thank you. Thank you're you. very, very welcome. Both of you. Absolutely. Very, very um, heartfelt. And listeners, I wanted to talk about things that we perhaps hide in our life. I'm part of the leadership council for an event coming up, which is Speak Your Truth. And one of the roles I'm getting to assist with um, as part of being on the leadership team is I'm supporting the speakers. And we have 24 speakers. A lot of them are sharing their story, their journey, part of their life they have never shared before. And they're going to be sharing it on stage to for all of the women who will be attending and it's really about releasing shame sharing some of those stories that we've been afraid to share um, part of our journey and when we do that there is a real power of connection and I find our stories really encourage one another and I almost don't even like calling it stories because to me that feels almost too light for what the women are sharing And I've had a bit of a preview because I'm working with a lot of the speakers behind the scenes and they're sharing their messages and their 
stories with you. And to me, they're almost sharing and opening up part of their life um, to me and to the women that they'll be sharing with. And the thing that has really struck me about every one of these women is they tell me after they've shared this amazing story. And to me, they're really heroes. Like you would never know some of these things had been in their background or the path that they have um, had to walk and then chosen to walk to climb out if they didn't stop and pull back the curtain and share that. And I've been inspired every single time that they've been willing to do that. And when they finish their presentation and they come to me and they ask for feedback, the number one thing they're concerned about is they just want their story to make a difference. They just want for sharing part of their journey to have touched one person's life. And that's why they're sharing and that's the space they're coming from. And I want you to think for a moment about your own life. Because I have found this in mine, that when somebody somebody has been willing to pull back the curtain a little bit and share part of their journey with me, particularly when it's been a difficult journey, and yet they found the courage and the ability and the strength to step through and make it different, make the story have a different ending. And they were willing to make that transition in their life. When they share about that pivotal point with me, they share part of their journey, I'm always inspired. I'm always encouraged. And when I face a difficult time, a challenging moment in my life, and I think back and remember those stories, those rich jewels, pearls of wisdom that they have shared with me, it's helped me be more courageous and step forward in a more powerful way. And that's one of the big gifts that these women are giving, these speakers are giving to the women that will be attending. And what I want you to just pause and think about for a moment, do you have a story, a journey, because I believe all of us do, that perhaps we haven't paused and thought about We haven't really thought about sharing or opening up that part of ourselves. Maybe you didn't think it mattered. And I want you to, just for a moment, if you're driving, keep your hands on the wheel. Eyes open, be safe. But for those of you that are able to, I encourage you to put both feet on the ground. Put one hand on your heart, another on your head. Take a deep breath. And just lean into that question a little bit and think, is there part of me I've been hiding or um, not necessarily sharing as much as I could? (sighs) Just see what comes. Because sometimes that hiding can actually create disconnections in our mind and body and spirit as well as with others. We think it's shielding and protecting us, but it's actually creating a separation and can cause emotional and physical and mental pain. So I just encourage you to breathe in. Just see. And if you discovered there's something that you've been hiding a little bit, just acknowledge that. And be open to the opportunity to share that with somebody, a person. Share that part of your journey, enrich their life and the connection with another. And then breathing in even more deeply, I want to find out what it is you need today. Are you looking for help with alleviating pain? Are you looking for help with forming even more powerful connections. What is it you need from us today that would be supportive of you on your journey? And just breathe that in. And Deanne and Lori, I wanted to see if you're open to 
sharing anything that came to your mind and heart. And Deanne, I, I thought I would start with you. Okay, sounds good. Um, I think one of the things that came to my heart was a quote I saw the other day about um, how we imagine that bliss should be normal and mm-hmm. how we run around wasting a lot of time trying to find what that is and feeling like we've been robbed. And, and the quote says, you know, most pets don't drop, most beef is tough, most children grow up to be just people, most successful marriages require a high degree of mutual toleration, and most jobs are more often dull than otherwise. The trick is to thank the Lord for letting you have the ride. Mm-hmm. And I think that that gratitude of having that gratitude of being able to be on the journey of making today a better day than yesterday. Um, that's kind of what came to my heart. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing making okay. today and to actively taking action in that, not just expecting bliss, <laughs> but actively exactly. working exactly. to make today a better bliss day. Beautiful. Work. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Lori, did you have anything come to your mind or heart that you wanted to share? Well, as we were doing the exercise, the word fear came into my heart for a little moment because that's what people don't like to show. Mm. I don't like to show that. I like to be the strong one in control. And by sharing our fear with one another, it actually makes us stronger because that way we can get help and we can support one another. We don't have to always be strong. There's a time where we need to let other people in and help us. Beautiful. Thank you for for sharing that. And I think you're, you're very, that's a very, very true thought that we do try to hide our fear and act like we're not afraid and don't show that we need help. And then we start to trap ourselves <laughs> and um, create more and more disconnections and trap ourselves in the fear rather than being willing to share and grow through it and get support. Mm-hmm. So thank you. Thank you. And I think for me, it's really a desire for us to pause and take a moment and appreciate the journey that we've been on and not trying to keep parts of ourselves separate, whether it's fear or it's something, a journey that we've been on, whatever it may be, or parts of ourselves we don't even, we may not like. (laughs) Um, sometimes we just reflect or want to show our shiny parts and hide parts of ourselves and that can take away some of our power and strength and connection. And I really want us to be whole and complete and really, um, being willing to share all of ourselves with one another, whether it's supporting each other in making today a better day or supporting each other and, and stepping through fear, but really coming in an authentic heart-centered place to encourage and support each other in our journey. And that's what I hope listeners that we're able to bring to you today and throughout the course of this show that you're going to feel that kind of energy from us. And with that, we are going to go into our first break. So I encourage you to keep pondering these thoughts and these questions that we raised. And we will look forward to talking to you in just a moment. your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com Join Rebecca Hall Greider this fall for a Women's Enrichment Retreat, November 13th, 14th, and 15th at the beautiful Westminster Retreat Center in Alamo, California, in San Francisco's East Bay Area. Take time for you and step into your vision in a powerful and sustainable way. This is an all-inclusive retreat in a beautiful and nourishing environment, giving you plenty of time to relax, decompress, and refresh, while having the opportunity to connect with yourself and other heart-centered women on a deep level. To find out more, visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash W-E-R. You have the power within to achieve anything, be it wealth, balance in your life, getting over your fears and roadblocks, 
and creating a positive impact on the world. Let Darby Mack show you how on the Powerful, Passionate, Prosperous Woman Show. Darby will bring you the tools and tips that you need to make it all happen with engaging guests and topics that will help you make your dreams come true. The Powerful, Passionate, Prosperous Woman Show is heard live every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, noon Eastern Time on Voice America Empowerment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Build your better business. Achieve that goal. Make good on that resolution. The Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that break and you had an opportunity to be still and listen a little bit and really see what it is that you need today, this week, to support you on your journey. And when we have that clarity and we know what we're looking for, it's a lot easier to recognize opportunities and information that help us move in that direction and bring in what we need. And I wanted to start our conversation today with an amazing heart-centered holistic practitioner, Lori Ratto. Lori, I welcome you officially to the show. Thank you. Like I said, it's wonderful to be here. I'm very excited. I'm excited to have you too. And I just wanted to share with listeners just a little bit more about you, that you're an RN and you have this personal quest to alleviate physical pain and stress. And I like that. This is a personal mission (laughs) that you have on your heart to support people in this way. And what I would like to understand about that is why. Why this work of really helping people in a holistic way alleviate pain and stress in their life. Why is that work so important to you? Well, I've always wanted to help people, and that's why I became a nurse in the first place. And I've loved what I've done for all these years. I've been a nurse for a little over 35 years now. Um, But I noticed a change through time, and people were being put on more and more medications, but their pain wasn't being alleviated, and their quality of life wasn't getting any better. Matter of fact, it caused a lot of problems. And at one point in my life, I was having a lot of stress, Um, which continued for almost 15 years, I noticed this pattern, but I didn't know how to change it because when I just addressed my physical body, it didn't help. Um, So I started studying holistic therapies, and through the holistic therapies, I was actually able to alleviate my stress pattern and some chronic pain that I had developed due to an injury. And I was so fascinated and felt so good after learning these techniques that I started using them on family and friends, Mm -hmm. and the results were so amazing, I left Western Medicine in 2011 to do my private practice full-time, because I just feel this really helps people in a different way than I was doing before, and at a deeper level, I'm dealing with the whole person, not just the physical body. Beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing not only why this is so important to you, but part of the journey that you personally went on in stepping into the work that you do today. So what is the mind-body connection and how does that work? Well, 
Western medicine looks basically at your physical body, and um, they give you medications to help with the symptoms. But what they're not taking into account is that your beliefs, your emotions, your subconscious all play a role in your health and your well-being and your pain, whatever form that may be. So by working with your mind and your beliefs, um, it actually causes physical changes in your body. Different chemicals and hormones and things get released, and you have a different response. So I work with people, um, their mind, body, and spirit, to help bring them back into balance, and that actually helps the body to help heal itself. Beautiful. And so would it be a fair statement that you're really helping them heal from the inside out, kind of internally what they're thinking, how they're wired, how they're approaching things, and as they shift that, it starts to shift the physical being as well, or do you approach it from all different angles? I approach it from all different angles. I do use some therapies that address the physical body as well, Mm -hmm. but the mind and the spirit are essential into anyone achieving health and healing of any kind. And that's why I love the work that I do. <clears throat> Wonderful. And we've talked about pain. I was introducing this in the, the first segment of our show and how pain can really be physical or mental or emotional. I love how you feel and believe it's so important to not just address physical, but the mental and emotional well as well. Can you share what some of the most common symptoms are that people would come to you for help in? Well, many people come to me because of frequent headaches, um, joint pain, back and neck pain, and a lot of that's actually Mm stress-related. And once I talk to them and find out what's going on in their life and we can find ways to decrease their stress level or manage it in a much better way than they're doing, their pain decreases or goes away, which is pretty amazing. I've worked with people with high blood pressure, um, fibromyalgia, that don't want to be on the medications, and we've been able to work together, again, at that deeper level, going into their subconscious a little bit and finding out what the pain is trying to tell them. Um, So many of us today, our body is signaling us all the time on what it needs, and we just ignore it and try to push through it. But I help people stop and pause, like you were talking about, and actually listen to their body and see what it's trying to tell them. And I want to pause with that thought just a moment. I think it's brilliant what you just shared. And I think sometimes we can see pain as a bad thing (laughs) rather than realizing it's a way that our body is trying to communicate with us and tell us information and listen. And I love that you are able to help people dig into that and understand what their body's trying to tell them and that there are alternatives to a lot of the traditional medicine approaches that have been used. So I just wanted listeners to to lean into that for a moment and just sit with that and, and even see if that's a question they want to add to their pauses <laughs> is every once in a while when they feel a pain or there is a headache or something just leaning in to that question a little bit. Well, has anyone ever asked you to do something and your stomach gets in a knot, but you say yes anyway? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, that's your body telling you you're probably overextending yourself and you really shouldn't say yes. But we ignore that, and then we wonder why we get stressed out and overwhelmed. Exactly. 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 No, thank you. That was a great example. And I know that you do a lot of teaching and really believe in educating people in this arena to really empower them. And I actually happen to know as well that you have some courses and classes coming up. Do you mind taking just a minute to share a little bit about that with us? Oh, I'd love to. Um, I'm actually doing a live workshop on November 8th in Alameda. It's for three hours. And it's called Five Steps to Break the Barrier of Physical, Mental, or Emotional Pain. And here um, you'll be able to actually experience the therapies that I work with. 
and learn how they work in your mind, body, and spirit. And you'll walk out of there with some concrete things you can start using right away to decrease your pain. And if there's people that can't come to the class, I'm also doing this as a webinar um, for one hour for three weeks in November. Wonderful. And listeners, I'm going to actually ask Gloria to describe her amazing free gift that she's made available to you. And here's the extra bonus special opportunity with that, (laughs) that when you access her free gift, you will also get on her uh, event notification list and her contact information. So I really encourage you to listen closely to the free gift she's going to share about with you. And then at the end of the show, so you have to stay to the end, (laughs) I will let you know how to access these amazing free gifts, how to connect with Lori and Deanne at a deeper level, especially if something they're sharing with you resonates with you. I want to help facilitate that connection for all of you. So with that, Lori, do you mind sharing about your amazing free gift? Well, in today's world, everyone gets stressed and overwhelmed. And all the time I hear, I don't have time to do anything about it. So my gift for everyone today is a five-minute breath meditation. And this can actually help this help stop the stress cycle and the overwhelm and it only takes five minutes and because it's your breath it's always with you you can do it in a bathroom you can do it in the car you can do it anywhere once you learn it so it's a five minute uh, breath audio that'll help you relax and come back into balance Beautiful. Thank you so much for making that available. So now, listeners, that means in five minutes, <laughs> you can shift that position going from stress to balance again. So I really encourage you to lean in and check out that gift. And then, Lori, we have just a couple minutes, and I would love to have you share a quick tip or some steps we can take to help alleviate pain right now. Well, especially with women, you don't prioritize yourself. You put yourself on the bottom of your to-do list, and you put back things that you want to do. What's very important to keep you in balance and to have your, your energy flow and your mind and heart be in alignment is to do things for yourself. Schedule them on your calendar, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day, whether it's a walk outside that you like to do, whether it's being in the garden, reading a book, do something for yourself every day to get balance in your life because that will also help alleviate pain because when you're doing activities you like, endorphins get released in your system and that's the feel-good hormone and that's what you want. Perfect. Thank you. So listeners, I want you to pause for just a moment. And just run through a quick mental list. You can write it down. That always helps me if I write it down. Of what are some activities that I really enjoy that I could actually go and schedule in my calendar. And here's the tip. And and Lori, I'd love to get your opinion on this. But I find that if I don't schedule it and treat it like a meeting, like a commitment I would make to somebody else, sometimes I can move it around or cross it off or I'll get to it later. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And so I find if I treat it like a meeting, like a commitment, an appointment, then I'm able to build it into my life. So I don't know if you would underline that or if you have an additional tip you would share around that. Oh, absolutely. And I have some days where I just have 10 minutes, but I have other days where I have an hour or more that I'm doing something for me. So don't think it can only be 10 minutes. Some days it will be 10 But other days, you know, take an hour, go get that massage or go for that long hike in the hills or go to Napa and taste wine all day. (laughs) (laughs) I like that all day activity. Very nice. Good. (laughs) Well, listeners, we're getting ready to go into our next break here. So I encourage you to keep working on that list. And then the extra credit bonus opportunity is to actually take a calendar out and schedule some of those fun activities for you. I look forward to talking to you in just a moment. We're on Facebook along with some of the greatest minds of the world. 
And that includes you. Visit us on Facebook at Voice America Empowerment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Join Rebecca Hall Greider this fall for a Women's Enrichment Retreat, November 13th, 14th, and 15th at the beautiful Westminster Retreat Center in Alamo, California, in San Francisco's East Bay Area. Take time for you and step into your vision in a powerful and sustainable way. This is an all-inclusive retreat in a beautiful and nourishing environment, giving you plenty of time to relax, decompress, and refresh, while having the opportunity to connect with yourself and other heart-centered women on a deep level. To find out more, visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash W-E-R. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. Listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 888 346 9141. That's 1 888 346 9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your break and that you made that list of activities or things that you enjoy. And one of my guests asked while we were on break if I had flowers around me because those who have attended my live events know that I love flowers and I use a flower or flower pens and templates even in a lot of the work that I do. And so it was fun to kind of have that discussion, but it also made me think about here's another way that you can put things in your life that you enjoy and have them placed around you, kind of bring it into your daily life. And that'll bring joy, bring those endorphins up and also create um, a balance. Even when it's a rough day, If I look over at a flower, perhaps that someone's given me or a drawing that I love, it helps bring me back into balance. (laughs) So, guests, I appreciated those questions. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Behind the scene moment. (laughs) And then I wanted to introduce our next guest, and this is Deanne Hayes. And Deanne, you and I have known each other for, my goodness, seven years, six years? Something like that. That is true. Yeah, six or seven years, and she's the owner of Ink It Up Designs. She's a marketing and business coach and expert, has been an entrepreneur for many, many years, and really specializes in helping entrepreneurs develop a rock-solid foundation that is built around who they are and what they're trying to achieve. And she loves to bring out... At least I believe this about you, Deanne. I think you really love to bring out those things that are unique and special about each of us as we are expressing ourselves to the world so we can really make that authentic, unique connection. And I know whenever you're bringing marketing opportunities or business suggestions to me, it always has a flower theme (laughs) or something about empowering women tied into it. And I appreciate that about you. So I welcome you. Thank you. You're, You're so welcome. I welcome you to the show. Well, this is such a pleasure and such a great opportunity. Thank you so much, Rebecca. You're very, very welcome. 
at EM. I know that you love working with businesses. I know you love to bring your creativity in and really help them have that rock solid foundation and help connect authentically and powerfully in all that they do. And what I'd love to know is why this work is so important to you. Do you know, I think the answer to that lies in what one of my clients said to me um, just yesterday in one of our sessions. And at the end, she just said, capital W-O-W, wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. And just the, the smile on her face, the, the look of like, oh, I can do this. I have a plan. I have action steps. And it was like so cool when she said that to me, like, wow. You've blown my socks off. This is awesome. And seeing that reaction from someone and seeing them being able to take the next steps and be able to grow their business and and be able to make an impact on others, that's what gets me up, keeps me going. I love that. Thank you for sharing that because you know what my next question was going to be, why? Her saying, wow, and having that expression, what it does for you. So I really appreciate you sharing that. And listen, yeah, and listeners, just think about that. If we could really build a way into our life that we could do what we love and impact others simply doing what we love and helping them step more fully into who they are and what they are trying to do or looking to build. And I believe We all have that opportunity with a hug, with encouragement, with listening, sharing parts of our lives and journey with each other. So thank you, Deanne. And I love that you not only are so skilled at doing that, but that you have such a passion and love for it. Awesome. So so I was wondering if you would mind sharing with us, and this is a little more personal, how are you unmasking your potential? I know that's one of our favorite subjects and themes in October. It has been one of our favorite themes, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think this it, it revolves right back to what you were talking about at the beginning of the show about your story and where you've been and if you've been in hiding. And we talked about walking through the fear. And um, I've been doing a lot of that, a lot of okay, I'm really afraid of this, and the little voice is talking to me, and I have found that, you know, it's just something that I'm telling myself, and once I walk through, open the door to the fear and walk through, it's like, oh, well, this wasn't so bad. This was okay. I had to actually call my husband at a, a, a quite a quite a while ago, but the first time um, I've been kind of beating around the bush about being a marketing coach and consultant, mm-hmm. and the first time I actually said it to a client, you know, a, 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 a potential client, I said, I'm a marketing coach, and um, no one died. <laughs> you know? Imagine. I didn't, I didn't die. I called my husband and said, I said it. I said it out loud, and no one died. And he just laughed. He goes, oh, hon. <laughs> but, you know, we talk to ourselves in those I ways know. that makes it that we're, we're all boxed in and we feel like Why could, we can't do that when we really, really can. Exactly. And I wanted to share with listeners something that I know you're launching and releasing in January and this was also one of those stretching things <laughs> that you went through and unmasking your potential and in a new way that you're stepping out to serve. So can you give us the lowdown on your new radio show that's going to be launched in January? I would love to, and I am so darn excited about this. I've just been like, got these lists of all the things that need to be done in the background, but it's Class Act Business Radio. It's going to start January the 6th at 9 in the morning. It'll be twice a month, and we are going to give you the inside scoop on how to be the best CEO, the best business owner you can possibly be. We're going to have all kinds of great experts come on you know, lawyers that can help you set up your LLC or the corporation and all that foundation. We're going to have, you know, just, I have this whole list of great experts that are going to be able to help you no matter where you're at in your business. 
because we can all use a little boost, a little expert help. Exactly. And I've had the privilege of seeing some of the names on the list. And and what I can tell you, our listeners, if you're looking for a boost in the business and really wanting support on the foundation and to hear it from experts being interviewed by an expert, I really encourage you to stay connected with Deanne and watch for the launch of her show and really tune in and listen to the amazing information and experts that she has lined up and will be sharing with you. Absolutely. And then Deanne. So much fun. And such, <laughs> so many, you know, just that inside scoop of, you know, who doesn't want the inside scoop? you know, of how to be a better, um, you know, CEO of your company. Who doesn't want to be a CEO? You know, I was so, thinking even of cool. my of my life. <laughs> I want to learn how to be a CEO of my life, too, <laughs> and bring yeah. in the things to support me to, to build the life that I want, too. So I think there's exactly. a lot of a crossover uh, between uh, personal and, and business. And oh, then I totally agree. Totally agree. And Deanne, I know that you put together an amazing free gift, so I was wondering if you'd mind sharing a little bit about that with us today. I'd be happy to. You know, um, a lot of people give out, you know, these free 30-minute strategy sessions and that kind of thing, and, you know, sometimes you do them and you just feel like it's just a total fail and that you didn't get any content. And I believe that when we have a makeover session, that we're going to look at your business and where you're struggling and that I'm going to really give you some real input, some real things that you can actually do right then and there to make a difference in your business. And that's why we call it um, a business makeover strategy session, so that, it, that we're making over your business, like walking into a brick and mortar and being able to look through the client's eyes of what can be improved. And that's what we want to be able to do, do in this. And so you're going to get some great hands-on actual things that you can Im- implement right away to make a difference. Perfect. So they'll get an opportunity. Do they get to talk to you personally for this makeover? Yes, they do. Personal okay. one-on-one, on the phone or in person or on Skype, whatever they would like to choose. Perfect. And so, listeners, I promised I would let you know where to access these amazing free gifts that Deanne and Lori have made available to you. So if you are listening on the Voice America channel, if you look over on the right-hand side of the banner, you're going to see a yellow-orange link that says Radio Show Gifts. You simply click on that. It'll open up a world of amazing gifts and just scan down to the date today, which is Wednesday, October 29th, and you'll see Lori and Deanne's gifts. So I encourage you to click on them and really start developing that relationship with them and stay in touch with them and absolutely take full advantage of the gifts that they are making available to you. If you're listening to the replay, we can still get those gifts to you. (laughs) You just simply go to my website, which is www.yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Again, that's yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Hit the radio show tab, and right on the upper left-hand corner, you'll see radio show gifts, and you simply click on that link, and you'll see the same wonderful world of opportunities open up to you. We're going to head to commercial break here. I encourage you to check out those gifts, and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. up to your fullest potential. This is the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Join Rebecca Hall Greider this fall for a Women's Enrichment Retreat, November 13th, 14th, and 15th at the beautiful Westminster Retreat Center in Alamo, California, in San Francisco's East Bay Area. Take time for you and step into your vision in a powerful and sustainable way. This is an all-inclusive retreat in a beautiful and nourishing environment, giving you plenty of time to relax, decompress, and refresh, while having the opportunity to connect with yourself and other heart-centered women on a deep level. To find out more, visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash W-E-R. 
Now you can take your favorite Voice America radio program with you anywhere. Sign up for our mobile app if you have an iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry. The Voice America interactive radio player, powered by Aircast, gives you the freedom to listen to any of our programs anywhere, live, and on demand. No registration is required. Listen to your favorite Voice America hosts and discover new ones. Download the Voice America mobile app for iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry, powered by Aircast. Visit the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Success starts here. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. It's your world. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that break and that you've been enjoying all of the free gifts (laughs) that are opening up to you. The other thing I like to mention, because sometimes people don't uh, realize this, is we love to have your interaction with the show. So if you ever have a question that you want to email to us, we always check our emails during break. And I will work in as many of those questions as come up during the show as we have time and space for. If you're listening to the replay, please still send me a question. You can email it to me and I'll work it into the next show or I'll respond back. Um, privately, depending on the nature of your question and and the show coming up. But we love to really have a connection, interaction with you. And this show is really designed to serve and support you and encourage you on your journey. So the email address you can send any of that communication correspondence to is Rebecca, that's R-E-B-E-C-C-A, at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com and it is also on the Voice America page. There's a link that you can send a message to the host. So you can do that during the show, after the show, while you're listening to the replay so that we can really bring shows together that can serve and support you. And behind the scenes, we were chit-chatting a little bit and my guests both had a, a last thought or tip that they wanted to share with you today. And so I wanted to open up the mics and and really give each of them an opportunity to share a piece of wisdom and encouragement that they had for you. So Lori, do you mind sharing your last thought or tip that you wanted to um, share and gift our listeners with? Well, pain is very complex. And whether or not it's physical, mental, or emotional, And there's many holistic therapies out there, and I know there's one or two or more that could help your pain. So please, just be open to new things and go out there and find out what resonates with you and your body, mind, and spirit, because it'll help you have a better life. Thank you. And Deanne, I also know that you had a share that you wanted to share with all of the listeners today. I do, Rebecca. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, My tip would be that um, things in our lives and our businesses, sometimes we tend to not ask for support. We just keep burying them down inside where if we ask for support or delegate to an expert, that takes it off of our plate and and releases it and gives us more time to do what we do best and what we do well. And that's really hard a lot of times for, you know, like for my personality type, it's really hard to delegate and to have that trust to give it over to an expert. But I've been doing a lot more of that, and it is so 
opening and welcoming and just it's just terrific great thank you I so agree with that. I find, um, and that has been a difficult thing for me too, Deanne. I know we have that similar personality type <laughs> around that. And mm-hmm. it's sometimes hard to let control. I don't like to say let go of control, but um, knowing that it'll be done, <laughs> guaranteeing that kind of thing and trusting. Mm-hmm. And I have found as I do that, I'm able to do more, have more energy, be more efficient, more effective, both in my personal life as well as my business life. And then what's been even more enlightening and powerful is some people are even like way better <laughs> as an expert in some areas that I was trying to do. And they have been much better served by bringing that person into my life or onto the team. And then I can really shine in the areas I'm an expert in. So um, not only have I found delegating really free me up, and give me more time and energy, but has actually helped me do even more because they are experts in those particular areas. <laughs> I have to totally agree with that one. <laughs> Underlined. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then listeners, I wanted us to just pause for a moment. I'm wanting us to develop this this habit of pausing and listening and processing because we can rush from thing to thing and moment to moment and miss a lot of wisdom. And even like Lori was sharing that sometimes we don't pause and listen and we'll get that that stomach ache and then we'll still do it anyway (laughs) and get stressed out. And I find when we can really build this habit of pausing It can help us really tap into our wisdom and be more thoughtful in the things that we're saying yes or no to because you all are so valuable and your time and your energy and your resources and the opportunity we all have to touch each other's lives. I don't ever want taken lightly. So I really encourage you to build this practice of pausing and listening and breathing into your life and here's what I would like you to lean into this week and really be on the lookout for when we started this show today we started listening to what you needed this week and I want you actively looking and listening for that to really receive and bring whatever it is you need into your life And then I want to invite you to stretch, to take down a veil that perhaps you have in your life, something that you've hidden or parts of yourself you didn't feel were necessarily something that could serve. And I want to invite you to actually take down that that veil of separation and lean into that a little bit. And perhaps share part of your story, part of your life, part of your journey with another. You call up a friend, a colleague, and just tell them I was listening to the show (laughs) and was invited to share a part of my life I haven't shared before. Do you mind if I share it with you today? Do you have a few minutes to really focus in and listen to something I haven't shared with another in this way? And I can assure you, they will most likely lean in even closer that you're willing to trust them with that part of yourself and listen and share some of the richness and beauty of your journey with another It makes a big difference. And then you can even open up the connection and dialogue and give them the opportunity to do the same. You will both walk away empowered, encouraged, enlightened, and stretched. And you may discover you actually enjoyed that deep connection so much that you may be willing to share your story with another and another. And they, in turn, 
may do the same. And it creates a beautiful ripple effect of deep connection, authentically supporting one another in our journey and in our life. And ultimately, what I want for each and every one of you is to always, always, always bloom where you're planted and shine. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Thanks again for listening to the preceding program brought to you on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit VoiceAmerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the preceding program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management.